So scale three is the next one. This is uh, chronological reasoning. And chronological reasoning is really trying to be able to put all of the stuff that you learn in AP Euro into some sort of chronology that makes sense so that you understand if we're talking about the 19th century, what's going on there. Um, and they've broken it up into three distinct skills which, which do that. The first is causation. It's important for students to understand long-term and short-term causes of certain events. Causation and correla correlation need to be something that we talk about. Does one thing cause another or do they just happen to, to happen at the same time? Um, and, and that's debatable, which makes for some great class discussions. We're also then gonna work on the skill of patterns of continuity and change over time. And this is where your themes are really gonna play into. Where do we see things remaining the same for a long period of time? And where do we see things changing over time? And we can draw some very large conclusions as we go through the course of this. You know, uh, what's, the, what's the situation of uh, gender equality in Europe throughout the course? You know, is there a lot of change or is there a lot of continuity? Um, and I think you could argue probably that there's not totally either one, but there's certainly arguments over which one is more important. And then finally, periodization. Being able to take an event, a person, a movement, something like that, and put it into its correct historical period so that students understand where things are. Now, when I talk to my students about periodization, I tend to talk, talk about history boxes. And if they can conceptualize different boxes, like the, the Reformation box, and they see the name John Calvin, if they can put it in that box, they've periodized fairly well. Um, and that way they understand uh, when things are happening um, and also what other things are going on around them. So students have looked at primary and secondary sources, they put them in historical context, they've, they've periodized them, they've looked at change, they've looked at all of these things. What do they do now? Well, in order to really do well, they have to create an historical argument. And that really has two components to it. Number one is, well, creating an argument, coming up with something to say about all of this. And, and, and this is something that I find students struggle with because they take all this information and they go, okay, I've got knowledge, now what? And to get them to, to stand up and say, I have enough knowledge to be able to say that I think this is whatever, I, I think that's an important skill. Um, and, and that's something that this, that this creating an argument is all about, is being able to pull together all that stuff they've, they've, they've worked on and put it into something where they say, aha, I've got something. And then finally, using evidence to support an argument so that they're not just going to be argument, arguing large generalizations, Hitler was a bad guy. You know, and I'm going to say that based on stuff that I have sort of learned along the way. That's not good evidence. Being able to cite specific evidence, especially that which is contained in the concept outline, is going to be key for success in this. So overall, the new historical thinking skills look like they're going to try and guide students through the process of being an historian from the very primary source of, of, of an event all the way through pulling those events together and then creating their own ideas and their own things about it. Now in my next episode, what I'm going to take a look at is some ways that I'm going to uh, do this in class. Um, and especially this year, my big push is going to be the inclusion of technology as a tool for them to be able to pull some of these, these skills together. So that's it for now. I hope you understand now the new historical thinking skills. And uh, if these videos are helping you out, please feel free to subscribe because I'm going to continue making them and posting them and you can get notified whenever one of them goes up. So that's it for today. Have yourselves a wonderful day and thanks for watching.